Hey everyone, this is Dwight with Good Sounds. Today we're going to continue our video series on mic plot and palladium by completing the necessary steps to create our mic plot. In earlier videos, we input all the information for our show and our script, created the list of characters and cast members for our show, and created all of the movements that will be our cues in Palladium. Our last step to creating our mic plot is to select a few options on the group page that will allow the program to evaluate all of our information and decide the best option for us regarding the use of our wireless microphone. If we completed everything on the previous page tabs, then selecting the group page tab will show us all of our cast members in the ungroup cast box on the far right of the screen. The group page also has a section on the left that will list all of the wireless microphones that we will be using, a details section that gives a name for the microphone, the quality of the mic if you made those distinctions on the characters page, and a field for mic IDs where you can choose if they will be numbers or letters. There is also a box for members that will indicate which character will be using which microphone. You will also see four buttons labeled Swap Times, Auto Allocate, Spare, and Conflict. Swap Times allows you to decide the amount of time that will be needed to complete a mic swap. Auto Allocate allows you to set some rules in order for the program to determine the final mic plot. Spare will light up to indicate that a group or microphone is the least used and a possible option if a spare microphone is needed in an emergency. And Conflict will light up if two cast members are trying to use the same mic at the same time. If mic plot is auto allocating the microphones, then this problem should not occur. However, if any changes are made to the group assignments at a later time, then conflicts may arise and will be indicated by this button being red. If you would like to learn more about this page and all of the features that are available, please see the user guide in the help menu. For our demonstration, we want MikePlot to create the group assignments for us and determine how many microphones we need and how many mic swaps will be necessary. In order to start this process, we want to select the Swap Times button. Here we are given a few options, but to save some time, we are going to choose one mic per cast member. And directly below that option, we have the choice of deciding how many pages of script we would like between mic swaps. We are going to choose six pages which should hopefully be enough for cast members to swap their microphones. Once we have made our selections, we can choose OK to close out that window. Now we want to select Auto Allocate. On the left side of the screen, we can select the rules that we would like MikePlot to follow and in what order we would like those rules to apply. We are going to choose a few rules including Minimize Number of Transmitters, minimize total number of swaps, and minimize number of fast swaps, which are mic swaps that have a duration equal to the number of pages we chose on the swap times page. On the right side of the screen, we can let MikePlot know if we want the program to decide on the number of transmitters or if we know how many microphones we want to use. We are going to select Auto, but if you know how many mics you are going to use, you can choose manual and select the number of microphones. Now, at the top of the screen, we are going to ask MikePlot to perform a new allocation, and we want it to be thorough. You can have MikePlot render quicker results that would give you an estimate to start with, but to save time, we want a complete, thorough result. Once we have made those selections, we can choose Go and let MikePlot go to work. It will evaluate all of the information you have input and provide you with a total number of microphones and mic swaps that are required. It will show new results if you have made any changes since the last rendering. If you are happy with the new results, you can select OK. You will now see the group page populated with this new information 
showing how many microphones, what cast members are assigned to those microphones, and what, if any, cast members will be sharing microphones. If you would like to rename the microphone transmitters, you can do so. We typically just name them with simple numbers. We also choose the mic IDs to be numbers as well instead of letters. Now you can move to the mic plot page and you will see your complete mic plot and all of the mic swaps that need to occur, when they need to occur, and who will share those mics. This mic plot can then be exported to an Excel spreadsheet from the file menu. Not only will it create a mic plot for you to post in dressing rooms, it will also create labels for your microphone transmitters, labels for your microphone elements, running orders for any backstage crew that may be assisting with microphones, rehearsal tags that are larger versions of the microphone labels that can be used during rehearsals to make sure the mic plot will be acceptable, and cast slips for every cast member that provides all of the details of their microphone and usage. Finally, you can choose to compare the current version of your mic plot to an earlier version you may have saved. You simply select Open Reference from the File menu and choose any version you may have. You now have a complete and comprehensive mic plot that will provide tremendous benefit in organizing wireless microphones for your show. You also have a cue list that can now be imported into Palladium and adapted to work with your mixer to facilitate much easier operation of your show. We hope you've enjoyed this series on mic plot. Join us next time when we open Palladium and prepare to run a show from a cue-based program.